Hey guys, Bobby here, and in this video, I just wanted to show you these gauges. So, the target sub pulling on this is uh, 10, so it looks like we're doing pretty good. Um, the uh, reason why I like these gauges so much is because uh, whenever I first started doing HVAC, uh, working for another company, they um, had you use the uh, had us use the analog gauges. Basically, what we would do is we would uh, take analog gauges hook them up it would show us just the pressure by itself and then what we would do is we would hook up of a like a temperature thermometer on these things that wraps around and it tells you the temperature and what you would do is uh, you would do some math and it would tell you what the uh, superheat and sub point was depending on which side you put the uh, temperature gauge on um, <clears throat> so if it was on the liquid side it would tell you the sub cooling doing the math and then vice versa so reason why I like these is that they come with these uh, these right here that tell you the temperature and it does the math for you so it tells me what the superheat and the sub cooling is at the same time uh, the vapor saturation temperature um, suction line temperature is 51 liquid line temperature is 76.9 and basically what I do is I'll take an app for a refrigerant and it'll ask you you know are you doing does this have a TXV or does it not have a TXV I'll say yes or no and then it'll ask for maybe what the uh, uh, the uh, indoor uh, wet bulb is. So we'll basically uh, type that in and give it the pressures. And basically it will tell you where the superheat needs to be. And you, all you have to do is just look at it and be like, oh, well, I need to add refrigerant or I need to recover some refrigerant. But uh, same thing uh, for the subcooling. Uh, basically, subcooling is a little bit easier uh, when you got it on here uh, you see that it's like if it was around five you uh, five or six you say oh well i need to add some add some refrigerant to it and then when you add some uh, basically when it gets up to the set point of where you need it at you stop you wait and make sure it stays there and then you're good to go um, for me i just i just believe it's a lot faster and i think the faster you are the better you can be uh, to work on other things to get faster at and uh, for me, I, I'd like to be a tech that, uh, you know, is, uh, uh, I guess, good as far as the times go with the new electronics and stuff like that. Just to, just because if these didn't work, they, they wouldn't be selling them. And these things are about $500, $600 for these gauges. And if I ever, if this thing ever broke on me, uh, it's lasting me about a year now. Um, uh, going close to maybe two years I, I can't remember exactly when I bought it but I know for sure that if this thing ever broke on me I would buy another one in a heartbeat just because of how uh, easy it is uh, to work with so but yeah I just wanted to show you guys this um, uh, these gauges here I'll have a link down below in the description of where you can get your gauges as well um, hope you like this video and uh, I will see you guys in the next one all right have a good one